Howdy, I'm Josh and welcome to the Extendly account dashboard. So this would be the Extendly OS. This is updated for 2025. If you're interested in the Extendly tool, then this should give you a good overview. I have personally been using it for several years um, and, and absolutely have enjoyed it. Been able to meet the team. They're a great group of people. And if you need to ever uh, ask them questions, then go to Facebook and tag uh, Bont and any of his team and uh, they will get you like quick answers. They, they do a great job. So on the behind the scenes, let's say for example, I wanted to go into the social planner. So this right here would be the title for the social planner section. And I'll show you where this will uh, be displayed a little bit later. This is an example of a social planner overview article in which the clients underneath your sub account inside of high level, inside of your white labeled account will be able to visualize this social planner article. Uh, and this is being updated by the Extendly team and you'll be able to see last updated. So this would be like 10, 24, 2024. There are some articles that I believe like 30 that were just released today. Now they're not releasing 30 like every single week. It's just whenever they need to update articles, new tools would be, have been released or updated. Then they'll go through add snapshots, add the accounts into here so that you have an overview. So this is, would be an example of the article and you will also be able to preview the article by clicking up here and this will pull it up into a preview link. Now that's not going to show up here in this video at this moment um, because it's another article actually slash that it is. Uh, so this would be what the knowledge base actually looks like and because it's not inside of my sub account, the knowledge base logo is not showing up for my brand, but if it's inside of your account, you'll be able to see your logo across the top. Now, this is what your uh, your clients would be able to visualize kind of two ways. One is the chat widget that kind of floats in the bottom right hand corner. And the second one is this landing page, um, this kind of URL that they customize for you that you'd be able to go and click on each of the individual links and go through the different articles inside of that account. And that way it's white labeled. And if you need to search for questions, so let's say uh, like social again, then you be able to find some of those articles inside here. So I'll give it one second and see if the articles show up at the moment. It doesn't look like this is a, a newer future. So at the moment of the time of recording this, then this article isn't actually being able to be searched. So uh, they are moving over from the previous support OS. And so I bet that's something that is still in the works to be able to search that. Now you can also turn on and off whether this is a suggested article and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. You also have Q&A uh, pairings. So the regular questions that people would ask in relation to this article, you can put a Q&A. You can also see the outline of the page. So you can kind of quick jump to each one of those sections. So let me give you another idea of, let's say another article, which would be, let's say the getting started. So what does the dialer look like? In the case of the dialer, kind of walk you through the steps, where it is, what to click. Now, inside of the articles, you can actually go in here and edit some of the text. This would be custom to your account. So if I don't know, I wouldn't recommend going and editing their articles per se, but you could go and add your own. So if you wanted to click on and edit an article or add an additional article, then you could do so here and you would be able to customize it to look and feel exactly like this. You can add videos, you can add images, insert links, insert custom code if you need that. And then of course, any of the other uh, visual styling alignment and all that is available inside this account. Making sure to uh, click on your saves and you can choose whether or not this article is published. So for example, if you only uh, talk about or inside of your white label, you only give people access to the chat widget and the CRM, you could turn everything else off so that those articles are not available to um, the majority of people inside your knowledge base. Now, let me show you what it looks like inside of the chat widget. So I could go back to the dashboard and I could go inside of the Extendly widget and this will be uh, kind of give you an idea of what and where these articles are gonna land. So these are the suggested articles. So these are ones that I've turned on to be suggested on the primary page of my uh, chat widget. So people could click into this and this will be known as the knowledge base. So the knowledge base CRM overview, 
people can scroll th scroll through this, get a good idea of what the uh, details inside the article are. Then they can go th click through and actually go back to the uh, main page for all of the articles. You can then go click into, let's say the academy, which is a grouping. You can go into SMS and phone number, and let's say A2P and 10 DLC. So you can go through the steps. This one uh, has a video in it, key points, and uh, some other details in here. And again, new new support OS update. So it does look like there's some details that are still being ironed out, but I'm giving you this raw and I want to show you what it looks like right now, even though I personally use it and also am affiliate for Extendly. Uh, at times, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat where they're sitting right now. Uh, social posts, we kind of looked at that already. So this would be what those images look like, a bunch of Im images in the article, scroll down. And of course this one right here looks like it's, it doesn't have that detail, the access denied detail at the bottom. So that one looks like it's in good position. You can also search. So let's see if we can get the search working on the chat widget. In the case of the search being right here, at the moment, it doesn't look like the search is working, but I have had, I did have it working two or three days ago, so it may um, not be working at the time of this recording. But again, um, I want to give it to kind of as it's working right now uh, so that it's not sugar-coated uh, because this is something you're going to, you may or may not deploy to all of your, your um, uh, clients inside of your account. Now, I, I know we're talking about the knowledge base in this video, but this also is where you can go to the company support and get um, AI access kind of support as well as live chat support with people in, for your accounts. And so it'll start with the personal AI and then it'll follow up with a human if you need that in that scenario. Now, I think I've covered everything for the knowledge base, editing, Q&A pairs, outlines, there is a generate Q&A pairs with AI that will kind of uh, comb over the article. And because this one has already generated a Q&A, that one is all good. But if you were to add a new section, then like a getting started or settings or social planner, or let's say you integrate Apex into your account uh, or close bot AI, you could have a closed bot AI uh, section inside of your account. You can enable it or turn it on only for the agencies and then have articles that are custom inside of that account, inside of that section for you. I think that's everything for the knowledge base. If you have any further questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I do have a um, community that does have a section inside here for Extendly Chat, um, so you can reach out and have any questions inside of here. Uh, this community can be found at Go Collab dot com forward slash build and it's a free community we've got uh, 703 members inside of the community and you can go straight to the build uh, link inside the go collab and if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out um, i'm usually in here and you can also ping me on facebook but i appreciate your time hopefully it gives you a good overview of what the knowledge base looks like inside of extendly i saw a facebook post and that's a question that someone had about the knowledge base. So that's what um, kind of preempted me to go ahead and create this video, go and get that out there to answer that simple question. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Appreciate your time. This has been Josh. Adios.